horses are on the track. Hello, 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 and welcome to Sisyphus Crane and Rigging. Woohoo, I'm excited. This is Mr. Bix, and I've got a full loop going. It's pretty rough, but it works. And here's how it got there. And if you want to see it going, actually running the full loop, skip ahead to, um, never mind. Here it is. This is just the carriage, but here we go. I goose the power and I see that it can make it past the joints. It doesn't, they're not very smooth, <laughs> but it's going. This is the first test, literally the very first test of it going around fully on its own power. And it's not perfect. It needs some fine tuning, that's for sure. But it goes. Oh. I wired it up by soldering those joints individually. Oh, I don't know why it hangs right there. I don't think it hits the pylon. Let's watch it when it comes around again. Huh, it just goes a little slow. I don't know if there's a bump under there or what. It's not a joint. Anyway, hey, it makes it past. I'm going to speed it up. It hits. <laughs> but it goes. Bunk. Yikes. It actually works better than I expected. Yet, of course, it's herky-jerky. The pylons are wiggly. It has plenty of other issues. <laughs> it doesn't have multiple cars on it yet either, or weights inside, which I think will help it. Um, so I made a model, a cardboard model of a trolley car and put that on just to get a feel for how that looks. Don't hold me to this design. I'm now thinking of something else quite a bit different from a scale looking trolley car, maybe something more futuristic, but this is an invent as you go project. And here is the first bit of video I even took of this loop. Uh, the very first power up. All right, we're wired, about to be wired. This is the first time I've ever tried to do anything on the full track. I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. And see if it gets any motion at all. All right, turn that down. Oh, we have, we have power and it goes, look at that. Now, will it make it past the bumps? Oh, yes. <laughs> and it stopped. What did it hit? Okay, that's going to do it for now. I'm working on better context where it makes a connection to the track. The first ones were too thin and they all got bent and gnarly. And I've ordered some beryllium copper, and we'll see how that goes. Also, the details for making the raised shelf, the track attachments, the joints, the wiring, um, the pylons a little bit more. Better than that, though, I think I'll be showing how I'm optimizing the trolley. There's a whole list of little things that I can do that will each one will help a little bit. I did put weights on it and try it, and it works better. But that's when the contacts went south. <laughs> With the pylon screwed down and other enhancements, it should run quite a bit better. So stay tuned and goodbye.